Hey, today I'm going to show you how to put Windows 7 on a hard drive that's 3 terabytes or bigger on a system that does not support Eufy. And this will work with 8 or 10 as well. So I've got this Dell uh, Precision T7500 here. And this system does not support Eufy. And yet I've got a 3 terabyte hard drive. And today I'm going to show you how you can do that too. Now, now today I'm going to be showing you right now how to do this. How to get a 3 terabyte drive working on a BIOS system. Now, I don't have a 3 terabyte drive on this laptop, but this laptop does not support Eufy. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad R400. This does not support Eufy. This only does BIOS. So, here's what we're going to need. The first thing we're going to need is a flash drive that's been prepared with AIO Boot. It's called AIO Boot. Now, you can download this at the official site, link in the description. And what you're going to do with AIO Boot is you're going to first change language to English by clicking the flag. You're going to format the drive. Then you will um, in choose to like integrate the Windows ISO. You're going to link your Windows ISO you want to use there. And it will put it on the flash drive. This will take some time depending on how crappy your flash drive is. So you're going to want to make the drive with AIO Boot. Now once this is done you should be able to put it in your computer. So once you've used AIO boot to make your flash drive, you're going to want to turn on your computer with BIOS. Now, you don't need Eufy to do this at all. This will let you use your 3 terabyte drive in your non ufi system. So you're going to want to push the BIOS key, whatever it is, and on this one you push the blue button, then you hit F12, or you can just hit F12. And then you're going to be at the menu, the boot menu. You're going to want to choose the flash drive. So first we're going to choose the flash drive. Now you're going to get a menu here when you've made it with AIO boot. It's going to be grub. It's not going to be the same Windows 1 you're used to seeing with flash drives. So you're going to want to choose Clover. So now you're going to want to go and select um, with the keyboard because the mouse doesn't work. Boot grub to Eufy. Now we're going to choose WinPE and Setup. And what will happen is this will load your uh, files and whatnot. And this is doing it in Eufy mode now. So right now it's letting me install it because I just deleted Drive Zero partitions. But if it won't let you install the OS, well, this is what you're going to have to do you might get an error message saying that Windows can't be installed in this drive. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to back out one and hit Shift F10. And that will give you the, uh, this will give you a, a Windows command line. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in disk part. And you're going to type in list disk. So we're going to want disk zero. So now we're going to type in clean. Now we're going to type in convert you're going to want to type these commands in. So list disk you're going to want to select disk zero you're going to want to type clean, and then you're going to type convert GPT. So, if you don't have a drive that is uh, blank or GPT formatted, you will get that error message. So, you're going to want to do that, and then it'll hit custom, and you'll be able to hit next. And then you can just sit back and get a Mountain Dew, but don't walk away from your computer just yet because you will need to babysit your computer a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes when this is done. So now what you're going to want to do is, once it reboots, you might not see anything. So what you're going to want to do is hit Control Delete. And then you're going to want to hit the BIOS key. And this is why I said you got to babysit this thing. Because for this time being, you're going to have to load Clover every time 
you want to boot until we set this up. So we're going to hit USB 2.0 and we're going to launch Clover either by loading Clover or pressing the L key. So we're going to load Clover up and we're going to switch to boot Microsoft EFI, boot from EFI. We're not going to uh, we're not going to um, boot Grub this time. We're going to load this. You're going to see that very familiar screen, starting Windows. And that's because it's loading Windows now in EFI mode. Now, this system could not do UFI, which is why it wasn't loading earlier and why I had to control delete it. So it's going to reboot several times, and every single time, you're going to want to hit boot Windows EFI, that option all the way on the right. So let's wait a bit. So now Windows 7 is finally installed on this laptop and it's working fine. However, there's just one issue right now. The bootloader is not installed. Right now it just has the Eufy bootloader on there, which as you can see, we were having to hit F12 and boot from the USB to get into 7. So now that you have 7 installed on your 3 plus terabyte hard drive, you're now going to have to complete the final steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a 7 zip. We're going to go to 7zip.org. On Internet Explorer, we're going to download and run it. Seven zips installed. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to download an AIO boot. Or we're going to go to the site for it. And, uh, What we're going to do is we're going to go to this link, uh, How to Install Clover Bootloader on USB. This has the links the download files we'll need. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the, uh, we're going to scroll down, we're going to click Download Clover Bootable ISO. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, we're going to download it from SourceForge, Clover ISO, whatever the newest version is, we're going to click Download. Save, he downloads, we're going to go open containing folder and we're going to extract this here. And we're going to go and then we're going to extract it again with 7-zip. Then we're going to open it up again and we're going to extract, well we're actually going to hit open archive but you could extract it with 7-zip as well. But we're going to extract it, well we're going to extract it later. So we're going to go here and we're going to now download uh, Clover Legacy Installer. Save. Open folder. We're going to unzip this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, first we're going to mount the UFI partition. So we're going to want to go and open, uh, we're going to open up CMD, run as admin, now we're going to paste this in here. So copy mount vol slash mount vol z slash s. That's what we're going to type in. And now we're going to run 7-zip file manager as admin. So we're going to go and we're going to go to all programs, 7-zip, 7-zip file manager as admin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to... Uh, our downloads folder, so we're going to hit documents, up one folder, downloads, and we're going to go to the Clover folder, and we're going to hit 7-zip, open archive, and we're going to, or actually let's just double click it, we're going to uh, go to control, 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 copy to, we're not going to like uh, right click, we're going to, we're going to extract it here, Z, we're going to copy this all to Z auto rename. So we're going to go to Z real quick. Because this also acts as a file manager. We're going to go to EFI, boot, and we're going to change this to old. So rename. And we're going to rename this to bootx64. So 
So now we're going to go up, up, and uh, now we're going to go back to where we were. So, documents, up, downloads, Clover Legacy Installer. And we're going to right click and we're going to copy to Z. So now that we've copied it to Z, we're going to type in Z. And we're going to type in or copy and paste Clover Legacy Installer. Clover has been successfully installed is what it will say. So now you can go back to Z here and we're going to delete these Clover Legacy Installer files. So now this should be ready. It's got everything here and now we can just close out of this. And the last thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open up command prompt as admin again. So we're going to go back to CMD and we're going to run as admin. So now let's paste or just type in mount vol z d slash d and now you're going to close out of this and we're going to shut the system down so the whole reason we're doing this is because clover is a ufi emulator this basically emulates ufi on a bios based system we're going to pull the flash drive out. We don't need this anymore. So now you're going to see this. Boot Microsoft EFI boot from EFI. You're just going to have to hit yes every time you turn the computer on. Or enter, I mean. Bam, you've got Windows on your 3 terabyte hard drive. Or in this case, Windows in Ufi mode. So there you have it. This is how you can put Windows on a computer with a 3 terabyte hard drive, but doesn't have a Ufi. This is how you can do that. This is how you can put Windows on a system with a big drive with Ufi emulation. It emulates Ufi. So no more having to worry about like other crap um you can just put this um on your computer and bam you've got your three terabyte hard drive on a system that doesn't have ufi thanks for watching and subscribe for more